Sounds good when it's up and running. So we did this twice. What happened with both attempts? Stug 3 like this one have an electric starter, but it's also possible to crank start it when necessary. The inertia starter for the Stug, called the Schwungkraftenlasser, is over on the left hand side of the engine. By turning the crank you get a heavy flywheel turning and then you pull this lever to engage the rotation of the flywheel. This gets the drive shaft turning and starts up the engine. In the first attempt, the lever which engages the flywheel was stuck. So I pull and I pull and I pull and it wouldn't give. So we had to crank it again. I actually wasn't sure we could do that again. <laughs> the first try was really, really hard for me. Uh, Robbie did most of the work, honestly. I weigh about 125 pounds or 56 kilos for the rest of the world. And uh, I felt like I barely made a difference. The second time, I didn't know to pull and hold it. So I walked into this completely blind and my dumbass thought you had to pull on it like a lawnmower. You have to actually keep hold of the hung griff and keep the engaging lever pulled. Someone stepped forward and did this to ensure that we didn't have to crank it a third time. This was so exciting. Really, I just showed up trying to film it and then they were like, no, you do it. And it ended up being one of the coolest days of my life. <laughs> Thank you so much to Ravi and uh, to the tank hunter himself. It's a beautiful restoration of a vehicle and I really recommend his channels if you like to see original vehicles from World War II recovered and restored. Check that out as well as Robbie's Nasorn project down in the links below. And if you're a tank dork too, subscribe to this channel and I will see you back next time for some more armored adventures.